alongside superstars like LeBron and Anthony Davis. His answer turned a few heads, though. Take a listen. You'll be playing with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. They will be playing with me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I made the playoffs last year. They didn't. That's the difference. Have you, have you guys started talking yet? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but I'm, for, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we get a chance to play with each other than, you know, anything else. I'm excited to see it go on. I'm excited to, you know, to get the battling going. The swagger, the confidence, the moxie. Shannon, are the Lakers overhyping the addition of Patrick Beverly? Well, I think the Lakers did what most teams do. They have an introductory press conference when they bring a new guy in and Pat Bev does all the talking. Hell, I thought they signed Chris Paul for a second. I was like, well, dang, he's a confident bro. I'm talking about, you know, they get to play with him. <laughs> Bruh, come on, Pat. I get it. You're in a great situation. I mean, the Lakers, you have excited. Come on, bro. You're a role player. You've carved out a nice niche for yourself. But let me, you, 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 come on now. I mean, Brock talking like he like six, seven time first team All NBA, uh, eight, nine time uh, All Star. Got you know, c come on, bro, bro. Is he an anytime All Star? No, no. I mean, but you, you, to hear him talk the way he talked, man, they, I can see they asked Kevin Durant, you know, what's it gonna be like? Hey, you know, they play with KD or they play with Giannis. I get that, bro. Come on now. But that's 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 Pat Bell. Hopefully. He doesn't all of a sudden get to the Lakers and say, well, you know what, well, hey, how the hell, I'm Kobe, I'm Shaq. You know, hey, I, I'm the missing piece. You're a piece. You're not the missing piece. You're mm -hmm. a piece. But, well, that, uh, they, hey, he, hey, confidence is there, but whew, like I said, I thought that was Chris Paul for a second. He looked that <laughs> interviewer right in the eye and he said, no, that they get to play with me. They did not make the playoffs last year. And obviously, Pat Bev and his T-Wolves did make the playoffs, <laughs> yeah. even though they lost in the first round in six games to Memphis. Right. But he's saying, I, I was there and you guys weren't. So they're getting to play alongside me. I love his confidence. I love his swagger. I, I think he has to talk himself into believing he's that good because he fought his way up the hard way. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wanted him. Nobody yeah. wanted him. And he went to Europe, and then he went to Asia, and he went all over yeah. the world playing basketball. Went to places I didn't even know they played yeah, basketball. That is correct. And then he scratched and clawed his way up through the G League, and he finally got a shot. And, and the only way he could make it is as an irritant slash distraction on defense, where maybe he's tricking y'all into thinking he's guarding <laughs> somebody. But, but he did. It, it worked, yes. and he he went to the lab and figured out how to be a a credible three point a, a trustable three point shooter. So I, I love all that about him. But in his career, he's averaged nine points and four rebounds and four assists. Right. And the Lakers feeded him yesterday like 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 yeah. he was a crucial new addition. Skip, he's not a third star. He's not a third star. He's not a third superstar. He's a he's a role player, and he he's gonna fill a role. Okay, but, but usually when you sign somebody who has averaged nine, four, and four, <laughs> they don't get an introductory press but conference. But that's the Lakers. They, the, Lakers they, the Lakers make you feel special. Okay, do they? They make you feel or, special. Or has it come to this for the Lakers? Because I'm watching this last night thinking, this is amusingly sad because <laughs> you, you're, you're trying to push Pat Bev out there like we got a crucial new piece nah. to the puzzle. Yeah, like we said, like we, like we, we, that's, that's the kind of introduction we're going to have for Kawhi. Yeah. We thought Kawhi was going to sign okay, the Lakers. I, I would have bought that. <laughs> but, but then Pat Bev, he lived right up to the hype, and he's looking in the camera. And, and I loved what he said about Russ because he said a, a player with that competitive spirit, that fire, that will, that dog, that nastiness, that grit, to have a running mate like that. So he's playing to the crowd of, we're, we're going to be not good. We're right. going to be great together. Well, Darvin well, Ham said that he's going to try to play them both together. Okay, he said, I do have that, I don't love the reference, but bullet in the chamber. Yeah. But it's fine. I, I got it. Yeah. You know, he said, I've got that card to play, so nah, to nah, speak. No, 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 don't play that card. I mean. Okay. Well, th that's what he's saying, but I, I will believe that card when I see it play <laughs> because I don't think he's going to start Russ and Pat, but, although he may just be hard-headed and say, watch me, I'll yeah. do it. Because as he said... It only matters who finishes the game, and I believe Pat Bev will be finishing a whole lot more games than Russell Westbrook. You think so? I just do. And if that happens the way I believe it has to happen, so you, no, no, then see, Russ no, no, is going no, to No, you won't drama. You won't drama. You, you think you're slick, Skip Bayless. You won't drama. You know that's going to create something. Well, the you drama king wants drama, too, because Why he lives for it. it. He won't pee the Skip. 
after you get a certain age, you, you don't want that. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, we all been in a relationship. After you get a certain age, you become less confrontational. You become less argumentative. You it's just like, okay, fine. What what I, I don't even like going, you know what, okay, to keep the peace. Sometimes, Skip, it's better to keep the peace than to be right. Mm. And, so, and that's what I've had to learn mm. as I've started to, you know, to transition into my later years. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my wife would beg to differ yeah. with you <laughs> about yeah. how our household operates. Yeah. Hey, sometimes, you, hey, Ernest, D, you're right. It just, it just go, hey, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to flow so much smoother, Skip. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You do have to pick your battles. Yes. I agree. But LeBron loves to jump on Twitter after games and say, are you going to fit in or fit no. out? I, I'm, right? I, I, I ain't trying to win. No more battles. Mm. I done lost too many of them. I'm, I'm giving up. I'm surrendering. Mm. I'm, waving, I'm waving the are white flag. Are you really? I I'm don't waving the you white flag. I'm waving the white that's, flag. That's I'm not done. the Shannon Sharp. I'm enough. surrendering. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, man, think, man. I think you're surrendering about your Lakers no, going no, into no. next year. We win 50 games. Top 50 four seed. Games? Top four right now. Get two cases right now. Top four seed. Okay. You, you just signed a guy who's been on four teams in two years. A guy who's now 34 years of age, and you presented him like you're presenting Chris Paul. Let's get up. I, 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 <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Shannon. Nah, he you got Patrick Beverly. He, he, he presented himself. himself. <laughs> he presented himself like he was Chris really? Paul. Really? Top four seed for two <laughs> cases right now. Top four? Top four. We didn't remember. Okay, I'll take it. I got it. See, I, I look at you could you could I knew you could resist it. Top I knew four. you could resist okay, it. Okay, I'll take top four. Yeah. All right. Got it. Really? Got a basketball bet already. Top four. Mm. Yep. Have you noticed what the Clippers the are doing? The dew is flowing, and I love it, guys. What did Pat Bell say about it? Say it's different. He that, said, when you walk around this city, yeah, the Laker people yeah, pay attention yeah. to it. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, we gotta go. We gotta go. Let's see if you'll put some dew on this next topic. Will a healthy Baker Mayfield prove all the doubters wrong? Yep. Shannon Souls getting to play alongside superstars like LeBron and Anthony Davis. His answer turned a few heads, though. Take a listen. You'll be playing with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. They'll be playing with me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I made the playoffs last year. They didn't. That's the difference. <laughs> have, you, have you guys started talking yet? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but I'm, for, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we get a chance to play with each other than, you know, anything else. I'm excited to see it go on. I'm excited to, you know, to get the battling going. The swagger, the confidence, the moxie. Shannon, are the Lakers overhyping the addition of Patrick Beverly? Well, I think the Lakers did what most teams do. They have an introductory press conference when they bring a new guy in, and Pat Bev does all the talking. Hell, I thought they signed Chris Paul for a second. I was like, well, dang, he's a confident brother. How about, you know, they get to play with him. <laughs> Bruh, come on, Pat. I get it. You're in a great situation. I mean, the Lakers, you're happy. Come on, bro. You're a role player. You've carved out a nice niche for yourself. But let me, you, 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 come on now. I mean, LeBron talking like he like six, seven time first team All NBA, a uh, eight, nine time uh, All Star. Got you know. Come on, bro, bro. Is he an anytime All Star? No. No. I mean, but you, you, to hear him talk the way he talked, man, they, I can see they asked Kevin Durant, you know, what's it gonna be like? Hey, you know, they playing with KD or they playing with Giannis? I get that, bro. Come on now. But that's that, that's Pat Bell. Hopefully. He doesn't all of a sudden get to the Lakers and say, well, you know what, hey, I, hell, I'm Kobe. I'm Shaq. You know, hey, I, I'm the missing piece. You're a piece. You're not the missing piece. You're mm -hmm. a piece. But, but uh, they, hey, he, hey, confidence is there, but whew, like I said, I thought that was Chris Paul for a second. <laughs> he looked that interviewer right in the eye and he said, no, they get to play with me. They did not make the playoffs last year. And obviously, Pat Bev, and his T-Wolves did make the playoffs, <laughs> yeah. even though they lost in the first round in six games to Memphis. Right. But he's saying, I, I was there and you guys weren't. So they're getting to play alongside me. I love his confidence. I love his swagger. 